Professor Marino, what informed your visit to Buckingham Palace to meet with the king? Well, um, firstly, we were to meet with the king in Kigali, but unfortunately that meeting was postponed. Uh, but uh, I think uh, uh, he, his interest is very much in Nigeria. Uh, maybe even of uh, Nigeria's uh, relationship with Britain for all long and uh, our economic strength. I think uh, we are uh, still of great uh, attachment to them. And uh, he, he really speaks very well of Nigeria and uh, he showed the interest that uh, he, he wanted the relationship to continue and if possible to be uh, improved. Let me know some of the highlights of your discussions with him. Well, it's mostly economic. Uh, let the business, uh, Nigerian businessmen and the British one continue to work together and let them, uh, uh, you know, make sure that uh, the relationship is improved instead of allowing it to go down. Nigeria has a large market. You know Nigerians. And he asked me whether I have a house here. I say no. <laughs> I have, even in Nigeria, the, the only house I have are those I have before I, I got into government. And um, I'm not very much interested in having, uh, uh, you know, assets all over the place. I, I feel much more freer when I have nothing. So, uh, this change of, of currency, I think uh, there will be people a lot of money. But time has been given from October to December, three months. It's enough, whatever money you have, to get it changed through a legal system. So I don't know why people are complaining about it. So despite the complaint, there's no going back on the policy? No, no, there are no going back. There are no going back. My aim is to make sure that Nigerians believe that we respect them as an administration. So Nigerians should vote for whoever they like from whichever party. Nobody will be allowed to mobilize resources and thugs to intimidate people in any constituency. That's what I want to go down into Nigerian history for as a leader. You are the chairman of the Presidential Campaign Council of your party. Yes. What are the chances of your party winning the elections? What are the chances of my party not winning the election? We are going to win this election. Tinubu, uh, the presidential candidate, is a very well-known politician in the country. He was a two-time governor in, in his state, Lagos. Uh, Resource-wise, the most uh, uh, resourceful state and the most visited state. Uh, uh, so, I, I think uh, the party was uh, lucky to, to get him accept, you know, to be uh, its candidate. So how healthy is my president? I'm very healthy. It is. Uh, it's very important, and especially at this time of, um, you know, of the administration. Uh, the king of, uh, of England has, uh, holds the president in very, very high esteem. And, uh, and I think that the two of them actually uh, personify the relationship between the two countries. And, um, and of course, with Mr. President bowing out uh, in, in May, um, he, he's also trying to, in a way, with this uh, meeting, of the two, the, 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 the prince has now become the king um, to, to facilitate the continuation uh, of uh, the close relations between our two countries when he, the president, uh, finally bows out. So, so in a way, it was um, you know, also a, um, a message um, you know, to say that um, the bond is as strong as ever. Uh, of course, to wish the king uh, the very best. Um, in his new uh, uh, role, and um, you know, and to uh, reassure him that now, as king, as opposed to the prince that he was before, that Nigeria um, is still going to be a trusted and reliable uh, friend um, of um, of the um, the British. So, who will they meet in, in 
positively impact on the relationship between Nigeria and the United Kingdom going forward? Um, I, I think it will in, uh, in, in a number of ways. Um, you know, the British royal family and uh, the prince uh, in particular, um, he have a number of projects uh, in Nigeria. Um, and so they will continue, you know, uh, they will continue. And of course, you know, the, as the president mentioned, they discussed at some length the, um, the importance of increasing the, um, the business uh, relationship between the two countries. You know, the, um, the UK has come out of the, um, the European Union, and um, so it's all partners like Nigeria and other Commonwealth countries uh, are going to be ever more important to it. And, um, and so, y y you know, um, that trust uh, that exists um, between uh, the two of them, um, you know, will also help uh, to propel that um, increased um, business relationship between the two countries of uh, UK that is outside the Commonwealth, I mean that is outside the European Union, uh, engaging and intensifying its relationship with, um, you know, with Nigeria. And you know, we're going through economic challenges uh, at the moment. And so it's also very important for us as a country um, to um, increase the, uh, our trade relations with, um, with countries around the world, and the UK uh, is one of them. So it's a win-win, and, um, and I think Mr. President, you know, through this meeting, uh, we, we think is really laying the foundations uh, for, for that going forward. Thank you.